Hi guys, how are you? I hope that you are well. My name is Terence and I'm going to record 101 superfoods that stop your joint pain and inflammation review. Inflammation is a condition where your body attempts to protect itself and heal the pain caused from an injury or infection. Some of the common symptoms of inflammation that may occur are swelling, irritated skin, severe pain and loss of function or full movement of that particular body part. Chronic inflammation, however, harms rather than heals, because the immune system attack never stops. It's like being shot by friendly fire during a perpetual war raging inside the body, says Dr. Shower. Picture a sneak attack on your joints and blood vessels causing tender, throbbing, hot spots that are wreaking havoc on the areas of your body that were once pain-free. According to Yahoo Health many scientists now believe that most chronic diseases that we fear most including heart disease, cancer and Alzheimer's are all caused by chronic inflammation. Here's the solution, get 101 superfoods that stop your joint pain and inflammation. 101 Superfoods That Stop Your Joint Pain and Inflammation is a resource guidebook that claims people will be able to enjoy delicious foods that heal their joints, protect their brain and feel energetic and alive once again when they buy it. This has caught the attention of Health Eye and FitZone.com Stan Stevenson, prompting an investigative review, what's in the book? Here's just a sneak peek at what you'll discover within the pages of this resource. 1. Learn which 5 fatty foods can help protect your heart, lower blood pressure and improve the ease of your breathing. 2. Do you love grilled steak? Great news! Find out how it can help you battle inflammation and pain. 3. Discover the single most important vitamin that can help ease joint pain and inflammation. 4. How adding this one refreshing beverage, can help start the process of extinguishing the inflammation that is going on in your body. Five. Discover the three types of nuts, to eat every day, that will help fix damaged tissue, have the highest levels of antioxidants and neutralize damaging free radicals in your body. 6. The best kind of cherries to eat in order to get the most vitamins, minerals and antioxidants. Plus they will protect you from cancer, cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome and Alzheimer's. 7. We will show you 10 yummy and healthy fat rich foods that will help you increase your energy and allow you to move easier. 8. Learn the 5 best vegetables to have in your salad in order to maximize your anti-cancer agents, vitamin E, vitamin C and illness preventing antioxidants. 9. We highlight the best fruit to help ease your joint soreness. No, it is not apples. It is a little bigger. 10. If you have a headache and plan to reach for an aspirin, Stop. Discover which herbal tea is as effective as aspirin for pain relief. Pill or tea, the choice is yours. 11. We give you a step-by-step 7-day -step meal plan that you can follow, right now, in order to start easing your chronic joint inflammation. Order today and get this special bonus. 101 Natural Remedies for Pain Relief Get 101 superfoods that stop your joint pain and inflammation. Hey, good morning, guys. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you all how to make a uh, anti-inflammation blast using the NutriBullet RX, which is the newest version and best version of the NutriBullet that is made. Okay, if you don't have the RX version, that's fine. Just use your basic NutriBullet to put together an anti-inflammation blast. All right, uh, an uh, inflammation is one of the biggest problems inside most people today and you get inflammation by basically eating bad i mean pretty much and uh if you want to turn things around in your life you've got to get rid of inflammation okay so uh let's go ahead and put together this blast and um you know let's go ahead and put this in my body so i can you know start getting rid of my inflammation okay the first thing we have here is two cups of swiss chard all right two cups of swiss chard about an inch here of turmeric spice, one and a half cup of pineapple, half a avocado, three tablespoons of pumpkin seeds. Now I'm replacing the pumpkin seeds for the uh, chai seeds. I ran out of chai seeds. Chai seeds are much better when it comes to uh, inflammation. So we're gonna use the pumpkin seeds instead. 
one cup of cucumbers and always good for information is some organic garlic okay really great for information and finally three cups of coconut water okay really quick always make sure that your neutral bullet is never plugged in all right until you are ready to use it okay never on the neutral bullet rx have your blade sitting in in here like this never have it in there and have your neutral bullet plugged up because the neutral bullet rx is now automatic so you could actually end up chopping your finger off so make sure it's always unplugged before you all of our ingredients in the 45 ounce uh, canister of the Nutribullet RX. So let's go ahead and get this thing started. Okay guys, it's gonna be kind of noisy, noisy, so hang on. Okay, all right, it is now complete, and now it's time to give it a taste. Always watch your blade off fast. As soon as you're done using it, all you gotta do is just put a little bit of soap and warm water on it, rinse it off, and make sure you always dry your blade so it doesn't get rusted. And here's to being healthy. Haggis, the national dish of Scotland, is a savory pudding of heart, liver, lungs, and oatmeal traditionally stuffed inside of a stomach. When that stomach goes into our own stomach, our digestive enzymes and stomach acid have no problem digesting it away. But how come our body digests the stomach lining of a sheep on our plate without digesting our own stomach lining? It's meat, we're meat. Why don't we digest our own stomach every time we eat? In part because we have an enzyme called cyclooxygenase that protects the lining of our stomach. There are two types, COX-1 and COX-2. Cyclooxygenase 1 is thought to be the main protector of our stomach, whereas COX-2 is an enzyme responsible for pain and inflammation. In fact, that's how anti-inflammatory drugs like ibuprofen and naproxen work, by inhibiting the COX-2 enzyme. But these are non-selective drugs. They inhibit both COX-2 and COX-1, which is trying to protect our stomach lining. That's why, though drugs like ibuprofen are great at relieving pain and inflammation, they kill thousands every year due to ulcerations through the stomach wall resulting in life-threatening bleeding and perforation. What are the risks on an individual level? On average, about 1 in about 1,200 people who take this class of drugs for at least two months will die as a result. To put this into perspective, we can compare the death rate from anti-inflammatory drug side effects to the risks associated with some well-known events. For example, it may be safer to go bungee jumping a few hundred times. So what we need is some sort of selective COX-2 inhibitor, inhibiting the pain and inflammation of COX-2 without inhibiting the stomach protection of COX-1. And that's what we got, anti-inflammatory drugs easier on the stomach, like Vioxx, blockbuster drug bought in billions in profits, before it started killing tens of thousands of people. Internal emails show how the drug manufacturer responded to the revelation they were killing people. They drew up a list of doctors who were trying to warn people and tried to neutralize them. And if that didn't work, discredit them. So is that what we're left with? Death from internal bleeding from one type of drug, or death from side effects from another type of drug? If only there was some sort of natural COX-2 inhibitor. There is. Cherries, which unlike ibuprofen, suppress COX-2 more than COX-1. 
In videos I did on insomnia and reducing muscle soreness, I talked about the benefits of sour cherries, the types of cherries used in baking. But this was for the sweet cherries you eat fresh. Tart cherries had less of an effect. Sweet, regular you know, red bean cherries were shown to have a greater anti-inflammatory activity than tart cherries. Uh, which makes sense, since we think it may be the anthocyanin and phytonutrients in cherries, and there's lots more in sweet red cherries than in tart, and nearly none in the yellow Rainier cherries. Because fresh cherries have limited availability, what about other cherry products? Fresh is best, but frozen would appear to be the second best choice.